Welcome back, everybody, to a Better Me series on this marvelous, magnificent, motivational Monday. I pray all is well and stay well with everyone. Indeed, our God is truly an awesome God, worthy to be praised for his grace and mercy towards us. Amen. We are always to be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. When we think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for us, he's already done enough for us to praise and give him glory. Plus another chance for us to get it right. I am still motivated from yesterday, y'all. I witnessed to two incredible messages in two different places. Both were in sync with each other. The way, the truth, and the light. We thank God for the messengers. Sitting on such as that constantly, you can't help but become a better man. Make you forget about the troubles of this world. Our scripture for this morning is coming from Luke chapter 33, verse 11. No man, when he lighted the candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bush, but on a candlestick that they which come in may see the light. Christian duty and obligations. As we know, Jesus is the light of the world. He is the hope in midst of our hopelessness. Christians, Christ-like individuals, when he lit our hearts, we have become the light as well. This dark world cannot come to know Jesus if we do not illuminate the light to show them the way. We are to spread the gospel, not hide it, not sit on it, or be ashamed of it. And what better way to illuminate the light than through our daily walk. Being grateful for who we are as lights, shining it by exercising the fruits of the Holy Spirit. The objective being that when it is seen people will be drawn to it and began to walk in it as well. Just imagine, after traveling in the darkness for a while and get lost, how relieving and refreshing it is to see a light where you can feel safe and secure from the unseen dangers lurking in the darkness, where thieves, killers, and robbers, snakes in the grass, pitfalls, and traps laid out for capture are dwelling in the darkness. Our obligations 
and duty as Christians is to go out and find the lost and lead them to safety. Follow me as I follow Christ. That's all I have for you today. I pray that you have a blessed and safe day and that God will keep us in perfect peace no matter the circumstances we face. If we love and trust in Him in all things with our hearts and souls and love each other, He will keep His promise. I love you all. See you next time if the Lord allows.